My name is Miss Melissa. I teach English for about uh, 14 years. It's been 11 years I'm teaching at the same school here at Adelard des Rosiers in Montreal North. So the winning conditions. This year, we're pretty lucky. We received a, an iPad for each staff member and three or four iPads per level that we can use. There is also an iClass where we can reserve the iPads there. And we have a computer lab too. Okay, so for today, what you will see is uh, my pedagogical intention is to um, make students understand the meaning of five vocabulary words and we'll be able to use them in a sentence to write them in a text. Um, so this is the first period of the three period sequence. Uh, I like stations, so that's what you will see, stations. And for each word, students will take their stuff and move around. Um, you could stay at the same place and do the five words there if you don't like students moving. But the way I place them, it's a rotation, and I'm at the end, I'm in on the outside, so I can look. And what I like about it, it's where I'm sitting, I will see three groups at the same time. So if I don't have time to evaluate a group properly, then there will still be two other occasions for me to do so. But so for this activity, you need five iPads with five Padlets done. Padlets is an app, it's free, and it's basically a basic way to brainstorm. And what I like about it is that you can put comments on it. So yes, this is our ideas, everybody pitches in. And then we will come back to it in the, the next period. And OK, finally, I think we changed our minds. Now we understand better the words. So we can tweak what we said, delete some stuff, and add more. So we make sure that we really understand the five words properly. And we will be able, they will be able to write them in their text later. I have a uh, functional language. So first of all is uh, in the book that we will read next period. Uh, the word is there in a context, so what do you think it means? So you look at the context, at the pictures in the book. Maybe it will ha be helpful, maybe not. So next, next step is, does it look like a French word? Then it will be uh, maybe uh, you, the use of a visual dictionary with categories. So uh, maybe it's a clothing, maybe it's an emotion. Okay, so let's put that in. And then I have their, they have their own personal resource folder that we learn vocabulary throughout the year. So maybe it's in there, maybe we've seen it already, but we forgot about it. So maybe let's look into that and maybe if um, they have a synonym. Oh, I know that word, but I, I think it needs that. So let's look at synonyms. Talk in English. That is why you have this, okay, to help you talk in English. Good, Norma? Good, okay. So, first thing, I want you to look in the book. In the book, you have a post-it with the word on it. So, it tells you at what page the word is written. So, you can look around, look at the pictures. It will give you an idea of what the word means. It looks like a word in French. Huh? Maybe you can try and figure it out. Yes, Taylor? Okay, then I want you to use the um, visual dictionary. I want you to use the vi visual dictionary, you know, the vocabulary section. Maybe it's part of the family category. Huh? Or maybe it's the clothes category. I don't know. You have to agree. Okay, so uh, maybe Yaya will say, oh, I think it belongs in the... Um, uh, clothing category. What do you think? I agree. Yes. 
because uh, for grade three students, writing a web address, it's complicated and it, time, it is time consuming when you only have one hour. So what I decided to do is use QR codes where they only have to take a, uh, use the QR app also free and it will give them, it will direct them to the site that I want, no uh, fuss. So it, it takes 10 seconds and you're done. So that is really uh, helpful f to manage your time in an hour. The, the impact on, of technology on students, I really, really think it, it has a big one. Uh, they're motivated. They don't see time fly, uh, flying. They're actually working and they, they get less, uh, less distracted by everything that's coming around when they're focused on their task. They actually remember it like the year after. Like, oh, do you remember last year we did that? That was so much fun. So it, it, it actually stays in their minds, which is really helpful. And um, I like that we can, with ICTs, my objective would to be dif to differentiate, to have um, the explanation already there so you can actually help other students. If they don't, some of them don't remember uh, your explanations, they can actually go and look. And so you can actually give your time to students who don't understand uh, uh, something, then uh, just repeating.